What's up guys, it's Francis Young, bringing you guys another deck profile. Today I'm going to be showing you a deck I made, because it was my birthday on Sunday the 6th, October 6th, and I got a lot of money for my birthday, so I decided to build a new deck. It's actually Heretics, it's similar to Paul Cooper's deck. Paul Cooper is a famous uh, duelist. I think he was, uh, he recently top 16 at the ARG uh, Texas circuit. Uh, and with heretics, uh, this is a similar build to him. It's not, it's not exactly the same. I put my own cho uh, card choices, so uh, I'll just be showing you the deck. Uh, before I start, I'll be noting that uh, this deck I've been testing on DN has uh, a lot of problems uh, with Ophion, basically. So uh, let's get started. Play two card cards. I only have two. Couldn't find the third one at the store, so I play two. Uh, two actually works quite fine draw power basically you want to get your heretics to your hand as quick as possible play three tefnuits tefnuits the cyber dragon basically every heretic every time you tribute them uh, you can special summon a normal monster normal dragon type monster from your hand deck or graveyard and its attack becomes zero but you don't care about the attack or defense because you're going to go in for XZ plays play three su he's probably the best uh, heretic because you get to pop a spell or trap uh, 3 asset, that's the levium level manipulator. It's good. You can also normal summon it. 3 Nesbet. Um this is probably the card that pops uh, monsters on the field. Play one red eyes darkness mat. This is a dual tournament. It's pretty rare, so it's a cool card. Uh Darkness Man it's good. Gets you a special summon your dragon. Then for the vanillas I play one Wattail, one Lester Dragon, one Curse of Dragon. Uh, for hand traps, I play two Maxi. I don't play three because I don't want to play three. Three is a bit overkill. You already have the card card D, so yeah. Hand traps, other hand traps, Swift Scarecrow, because you want to be uh, preserving your life points, uh, stopping uh, OTKs, because sometimes you do dead draw. And the best card, three Battle Fader, so good, broken, stops attacks, directs attacks. Four spells, one book, one dark hole, and one day piece. Uh, one day piece helps you when th with those hands that are a bit weird. Like you could dead draw, so one day piece just helps you, saves you a turn from damage. So you could go for your OTKs rather than your opponent. Three MSTs, still good. Uh, the searchers, three seals, pretty cool card. Good to search for heretic. Two lands, uh, it's good, beats over opponents. And lastly, three pots, because pots gives you consistency. So this is a pretty 40 card deck. Paul Cooper played 41. I think he played like three lances, three maxis, three car cardies. I put Dark Hole and Book back. Uh, he didn't put play uh, Dark Hole and Book. Probably the one I'm conflicting with is monsters. Side, I play two dinas. It's pretty good because when you have nothing in your hand or you have a bad hand, you could start with this, and your opponent will. Probably special for dragons. And he flips this uh, and everything's destroyed. Two prohibitions. Paul Cooper played three. I only have two. Two mind drains. Uh, it's cool. Good in infernities, you know, dragons, dark worlds, mermails, everything that activates in hand. Two Shaolin Prism Mirror because they said uh, Ophion was a big problem, so this should stop them. One Compulse. Bounce back stuff because it's that one. Uh, I play two rivalry because uh, you have a lot of dragons, so dragon types are good. Uh, two decree. Paul Cooper played three. I only have two. Decree is good. It should be limited. It's too broken. And two breakthrough because failure doesn't really work well in this deck. So I played uh, two breakthroughs. Well, that's a side. Showing you the crazy extra deck I made. I really like this extra deck. You play three atoms. So you want to be going for the OTK, basically, you detach one from this monster and you can summon a, any of your dragon monster from your deck, but its attack becomes zero, but you can still use the effects, because the effects are not negated, so you can summon like a uh, Red Eyes, Darkness Mad, stuff like that. Tree guy. after you detach, you usually go into this guy for OTKs, I think I summon two atoms in one turn, and then you could summon Gaia along with a Shrock Fortress. 1 M7 is really good. It's hard and soul of this deck. M7 is expensive. Gauntlet Launcher, he pops stuff. For the numbers, I'm playing 3 numbers. I'm playing number 6. 
I don't have a bouncer, stripe bouncer, but this is a pretty good card. I think it's uh, you can equip uh, a number, and when you detach it, then um, add a maximum material. You send the number to the graveyard and have your opponent's life points. But note, you can you can conduct your battle phase, but it's really good. It's broken. Number twenty five is force focus because he negates effects. Focus source. Come on, he gets the burn damage, not burn the. It's like a ring of destruction, basically. When play these, it's cool. It's broken this card. When Adrius, I don't play Tyrus. Tyrus not needed. Adrius is way cooler. Wins in Moa. Uh, you just pop set stuff. And the Shark Fortress, because you want to be going for your OTKs. So this is a pretty cool deck. It was expensive, I gotta admit. It was like $250, but that's how much I got for my birthday. So it was pretty cool in the end. I really like this deck. I mean, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for only a year and a half, okay? Let's say, and this this game's really cool. I really like it. I might start Magic or Vanguard, depending on if the prices drop. But Magic's pretty expensive, because I like playing card games. But I'm also a an athlete. I, I'm a sprinter, so I train like five times a week. So, uh, And then I play Yu-Gi-Oh! and then go with school. So I balance my life. So it's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. I like some comments, please. Because uh, I want to make this better versus uh, Evil Swarms. Because Evil Swarms is a big problem against this deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And rate, comment, subscribe. Bye guys.